So I guess just in general my interest in computer science started pretty early on from grade school. I was actually my third grade teacher who got me into kind of programming and web development. So pretty much all throughout grade school I started working on different web development projects and kind of developing my skills that way. So by the time I got to high school I was pretty certain that computer science was an area I really wanted to go into. Uh, a number of reasons. Uh, I, was, uh, I got into a fellowship program for research in bioinformatics. Uh, so I knew that if I came here, I have a ton of research opportunities, and I've really enjoyed that uh, my past few years here, uh, working in the lab and just building my skill set, working with other researchers. So that was a big draw as to why I came to the zoo. So I'm involved in uh, ACM, uh, which is the Association for Computer Machinery, the Computer Science Club, basically. And most recently, I've been working on an artificial intelligence project, uh, actually a competition where students will compete head-to-head -head with different... Uh, AI programs they write, and that's going to actually happen in a few weeks from now, and it'll be pretty fun. Right, it, it's definitely a big challenge. You have to plan your time effectively, know what you want to get involved in, uh, know what you want to commit to, because once you make that commitment, you don't want to be the person who constantly is getting out of that, not completing things on time. So I'd say just focus on a few areas you really want to be involved in, and just put your all into that, and I think you'll really accomplish great things. Uh, definitely try to stay involved, talk to a lot of people because the friends you make freshman year kind of be, be your core group of people you can turn to if you ever need help. Uh, like for a lot of projects, it's really helpful to have a bunch of people you can talk to and kind of get help with if you're struggling with something or just kind of see what they're doing differently and learn from others. I mean, that's largely what a lot of computer science students do. I mean, we're all creating these different programs. You can create a program in a hundred different ways, a limited number of ways. So it's always useful to be able to talk to a bunch of people, see how they're doing it, and learn from them. So I guess c computer science, it, it's pretty diverse. It, it can be applied to almost any field. And essentially, it's using technology to create. If you have an idea, if you can think it, then you can probably make it. You can probably program it, find some kind of software to help you out, and just really bring your ideas to life. It was definitely the whole idea of being able to think of some kind of concept or solve some kind of problem uh, and use my technical skills to do that. Uh, so for example, I was involved in a number of clubs, like the business club. They didn't have an effective way to organize their shares, their user information, all that stuff. So I ended up coding a stock exchange program for them and releasing it online. So different, there's tons of different projects when you're in high school you can get involved in. If you see a need uh, somewhere in your community, somewhere in your school, where you think maybe, oh, a website, oh, a program would help that, it would speed that up, make that more efficient. Just talk to people and try it out, and you'll be pretty amazed with what you can come up with. I'd say just look into it as early as possible. Uh, if you can go out there and maybe find a friend or find someone who's actually been through those courses, as knows other people in those majors, and don't be afraid to just jump in and try things. I mean, you can just search online, learn programming, and just start off with that. If you're interested, just keep going. If you're not, uh, learn something else and just see what sticks. I, I'd say there's a, a ton of opportunities out there. It just requires you to go out and seek them, be productive, because what you put into your education is going to be what you get out of it. So it's really up to you.